Hey guys, thanks for joining me today, and I hope you're having an awesome weekend, especially since this is the weekend right before Valentine's Day. And just in case you didn't know it, I love you guys lots. So today's message is going to be about you and how wonderful you are. But before we get started on you, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this as well as my other videos on faith, health, and beauty all year round. I appreciate it and I'm really, really grateful for you. So, what does this message have to do with you today? Well, it has to do with your being unique and lovable and worthy of being loved and how those around you hopefully appreciate your uniqueness. And where did that uniqueness come from? Well, if you believe in creation like I do, it comes from the one true God. There's one God, no one else like him. He is unique. And the word says we are made in his image and we really don't think about what this really means. What does it mean for you? Well, it means there's no one like you. Each person is unique as our Abba is unique. Now, how much does he love us that he chose to make every single one of us unlike anyone else on earth? Even identical twins, triplets, quintuplets, they look the same at first glance, but really each is unique. Now looking at just the physical, identical twins are actually mirror images of each other. So each again is unique. Our DNA and our RNA is unique as well. Our fingerprints, our irises, they're unique and like no one else. As the word says, we have been wonderfully made. God is like no one else and how wonderful we are made in his image. Unique just as he is unique. We bring Abba joy. Now what a blessing to be loved so much. But unlike him, he can tell each of us apart. He knows us inside and out. I wanted to bring this up to you because I want you to appreciate whom you are and how wonderful you are and how you're worthy of love and joy and everything that life has to offer. And I know a lot of you are preparing for Valentine's Day on the 14th. You're preparing to think of what you can do to make others happy, whether it be your significant other, the special someone, friends, relatives, so forth. But on Tuesday, the 14th, I want you to really think about how wonderful you are, how unique and perfect you are. What a blessing it is for you to be in the lives of those around you. And guess what? If you just happen to be in an environment where you don't feel that appreciation or you don't think you're being appreciated, that's okay. Know that I don't know you personally, but I appreciate you and love you. Know that the one who created you appreciates you and loves you. And there are people that are outside of the conditions you're living in that appreciate you and love you. You are worthy of the sun, the moon, and the stars. You are worthy of all your desires and dreams. You are unique. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. And again, it is such a wonderful thing to think that the creator of the universe, who is unique and like no one else, decided to make every single one of us unique just as he is talk about no competition there is no competition with us and others not only should we be appreciating each other for whom we are and how we are and what we offer the world but we shouldn't even be trying to be like anyone else why would you want to be like someone else you are you you are beautiful. You are fearlessly and wonderfully made. You are a joy. You are a gem. People always say that diamonds are the most valuable thing on earth. 
guess what? You're the most valuable thing because there's no one else like you. They say that every diamond's different. Well, diamonds generally all have similar qualities. That's how we know they're a diamond. But you don't have qualities like anyone else from head to toe. Your DNA is unique. Your RNA is unique. Your personality, your appearance, your dreams, your desires, your styles, they're all unique and make you you. We may find people we have things in common with, people who share our joys, people who have the same interests, people who we bond over, whether it be for causes or to have fun or to learn or any number of activities that we do. But when it comes down to it, there is no one like you. You are unique. Embrace it. Celebrate it. Love it. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. You are you. And you are loved. So, I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful Valentine's Day if you celebrate it. And if you don't, I still hope you have a wonderful day appreciating you and who you are and loving yourself just as much as you're showing love for others. If this video has been helpful for you and you've enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more of my Saturday videos like this as well as my other videos on faith, health, and beauty all year round. I'm smiling because I'm so happy that you're here with me and joining me and I'm so grateful for you. Have a wonderful weekend and a happy Valentine's Day. I wish you lots of love and may you continue to be happy, healthy, and whole. See you next time.